Hello everyone, and welcome to a little segment I like to call Behind the Souls. This is when I pretty much am showing you guys behind the scenes what you're not going to see on someone else on playing's thing. Tonight, Raven's plan to do a little bit of Bloodborne, so what I'm doing is showing you guys how I tend to prep. If I'm playing with Raven, I do tend to go ahead and get things done, that way it doesn't put him behind. I actually do do a lot of things, like if I am with another streamer or something, I'll do prep work ahead of time. This is basically a glimpse behind the scenes. You won't see me actually leveling or anything, but you will see me... Well... Unless they are leveled, which he is starting a new character, then you will not see me actually do that. Now, I will... I'm confident in Bloodborne, so I really can go... Pretty well ahead. And I just gotta keep up with my blood echoes. As you can see, we're in old Yarman right now. You probably won't see... The reason I'm starting here instead of the very beginning, because nobody wants to watch the very, very, very beginning. It's the same scene you've seen over and over again. You start off, you go from square one. This is a little bit ahead, where I've already killed the Cleric Beast. I've already killed off the old Yarnum people. And we are heading towards the Bloodstar Beast area. Shut up! No, I don't mind this area. Oh, God, hi. The only thing I'm worried about, since I haven't really leveled up, you can see I don't have much health. So the Blood Star Beast is going to... I have to watch my poison gauge very, very carefully. If not, I'm going to get my ass kicked. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked regardless, but still... Okay, I think this is the path I need to take. Yep, that should be the building. Come on, bitch, I know you're gonna jump out. Air puppy! My bitch! Now play dead! <laughs> Okay, I know there's little fuckers in here, so I'm not as concerned. Now, we've maxed out on antidotes we can have. Excuse me, I am talking, so... Which is always good when you go into Bloodstar Beast, just so you don't actually... ...die, because Bloodstar Beast is poisonous. Especially in second form, you always gotta remember... Carry antidotes on you, or you will fucking die, unless you're a new game plus. Then you might be fine. Or if you want a straight health build. If you went straight, like, I'm never going to die health, you're probably fine. You might be able to weigh it out. Now, I'm probably going to quit fire powders and everything just to make it go quicker. Because, like I said, I really can't level past the point I'm at. Because my rule of thumb is when I do a stream with everybody with, that, with anybody to make it easier to summon, I can't remember what you start off as. Like, this was a character I already had pre-made from the many, many times I played this with Raven and other people and they just kind of want to restart. <laughs> Funny thing is, this character's name is Raven Mode Stand. Because it was a stand-in Raven Mode for when we were going to redo this and start over. I just never got touched. I wound up making a new character to play with him for YouTube. You guys have probably seen the co-op Raven with Community, where we didn't have audio. We, st I don't, we still don't know what was up with that. But we have our. I can't remember if I got the Hunter's thing. So we're going down here real quick. Because what I do is, I tend to clear an area. Hi, big boy. 
How are you today? Good? That's wonderful. You can kiss my feet. I would say arse, but I don't exactly want his lips touching my butt. I don't know where they've been. Now, this one's probably going to be a semi-short one. I'm probably only going to go to the woods. That way I can get my workshop up and running and everything. Because I think all we can really do right now is level weapons. We can't really gym slot them. Unless I've already done that. I, I really don't know. We're going to go back to the Hunter's Dream here in a couple seconds. And then I'm probably going to quickly look up as we're in the loading screen and see when or what level you start off as. Because if he's going to start off at something like 11, I can afford to level up a little bit. Okay, we're in the load screen. Bloodborne. Okay, I have not been to the to the woods. Let's see, what can we do? Oh! Like pan oh no no no. The witches are for the rooms. That's right. Oh good. Go ahead and repair that. Can I level you? No, we're at the point we need those. Alright. I am quickly seeing what the starting level is. Ten. 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 Really? I think I'm like 15. So, yeah. It looks like the starting level's 10, so we're going to pump a little bit in that. I'm going to stay within 5 to 10 levels of him. Channel Blood Echoes, please. Oh no, I'm 18. Ooh. We'll make it night. Because we know he's going to level as soon as he can. Farewell, good hunt. Let's act like we're going to buy blood echoes. How many do I have in storage? Okay. Going to get a couple more health potions. Off stream, I'm probably going to go ahead and... Uh, farm out more. I'm tired of carrying the torch. Those of you who know me know I always attach that. Okay, where's fire paper? There we go. Just so I can do that and don't have to worry about seeing. Let's go back to Old Yarnum, and we're going to clear out the town, and then go straight for the Bloodstar Beast. So let's go ahead and get that prepped, ready to go. I do hope everyone's enjoying this. I is going to be more. I'm probably going to immediately post this to YouTube, no editing. Then tomorrow, my prep work, depending on where Raven and I get tonight, I'm going to post another video. And I'm going to get with him on Wednesday and see if he's leveled up a little more. If he has, I'm going to m mimic. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, that's just one of my specialties is mimicking. It makes, it makes co-op a lot easier. Because if I'm mimicking your leveling patterns, that means you don't have to worry about me over-leveling you or not being able to play.
There you are. Oh, you're not exactly what I needed, but I'll take it. my bow. I can't remember if there's anything the other way. I'm sorry, there's two werewolves. So... Quickly take care of you. Flip around. I couldn't have timed that any better. I meant to flip around and get the werewolf. I didn't know. <laughs> I forgot those assholes were going to come down. Yep. Congrats, you win the consolation prize. My axe in your face. How do you feel? Dead? Good! You can try that later. Anyway, let's go ahead and we shall proceed. Chip chair chap and all that bullshit. I love how beautiful this game is. Okay, so Oh yeah, this is a little bit earlier than I usually do. I was like, no one's watching, and then I realized I'm doing this earlier. There's a reason nobody's on. Okay. Now, if you look up, you'll see an idiot. He thinks we don't see him. I'm gonna promptly ignore him anyway. Because I know he's gonna jump down. Yep. Come on. Thank you. Come again. Good boy. Now you sleep right there. As you can see, that was the fucker. He doesn't jump down. He climbs down so you don't hear him. I don't really use the beast bullets. I don't really... I have yet to do a beast build as many times as I have played this, as many characters as I have on this. I have yet to ever do that. Come on. Good boy. Now play dead. Good. Let's go ahead and take that. I was a little bit rusty, but I'm back. Take me home, country roads. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You're not getting away that easy. I can go around, collect all this. I'm probably going to use the NPC just because I don't have that much health. And better he get poisoned than me. 
because right now I'm kind of a glass cannon. Oh, let's go ahead and summon Alfred. Okay, then we just got one guy on this side that needs to be taken care of. He's got the Kirk's hammer. Some people love that weapon. I'm not a fan. If memory serves, isn't my first time seeing the beast on this character. Okay, Bloodstar, let's do this. Get off him. I got too cocky. I got way too cocky with that. And that's one of my issues. I get way too cocky with shit. If I would have paced myself and not go all gun ho in there, the NPC would have been sacrificed and I probably would have lived. But, live and learn, lesson learned. Let's go ahead and head straight back in. Unfortunately, there's only one teleportation point in this area. And when I say one, I literally mean there's one. And that's the one we just are coming from. So unfortunately, we have to walk all the way there. The good news is... We get more blood echoes. Eh, if we're lucky, we get more gems like that. Unfortunately, I'm at the point for this weapon, I need the twins. I do not have any at the moment, unfortunately. I just wanted to take care of him so he didn't follow us.
<laughs> you and the werewolf whiff. Oh, please somebody give me some. Nope, you don't give me what I want. Okay, let's go re-get Alfred. Come slot. I said come slot, not cun slot. That's a difference. Not much of a difference, but there is a difference. Come on, Alfred. Let's do this. Let's go focus mode. Two Alfred, he's got slow attacks. I think it's funny in the DLC this becomes a regular enemy. And he's in the uh, he's in the uh, dungeons. So, that happened. I'm probably just going to go ahead and... take him around the church and everything. I'm going to see where we're at. If we have the Cathedral Ward done, I'm going to make a judgment call. I'm probably going to do... I'll probably kill the Bloodstar Beast off stream. Just to save us all some time. Because I'm pretty sure I'm at the church with him. Yep. I had the Grand Cathedral. Okay, so I know where exactly where I'm going to take him. And tomorrow, if I don't do it on stream here, or, off, or on stream on tonight with him when he's taking care of things and I'm probably going to do it 
on stream tomorrow. So as always, I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to watch Zero Gravity Theater tonight, and I shall see you all in the next one.